Electromagnetic Cosmic Spectrum and Frequencies. In this section, we will break down all about frequencies and the electromagnetic cosmic frequency spectrum, looking at the physical quantities and separating the spectrum into individual categories. In this way, we will come closer to the cosmological understanding. Humans can hear a small spectrum of frequencies where it belongs to the generally low frequencies, while they can see an equally small spectrum where it belongs to the high frequencies. Frequencies can be transformed, transmitted, decoded and stored in diamagnetic materials, solid, liquid and gas, as long as they are electromagnetic in nature. Our world, nature, is permeated by almost every frequency, from visible light to very high frequency radioactivity. We have these types of frequencies. TV and radio frequencies, visible light, radioactive ionizing radiations, cosmic radiation. By the term electromagnetic radiation, we mean the transfer of energy in the form of an electromagnetic wave. By electromagnetic wave, we mean the local and temporal variation of the electric and magnetic fields. An electromagnetic wave is characterized by three physical quantities. The wavelength lambda, which is equal to the distance between two successive peaks of the wave and has units of length. The frequency of wave ni, which expresses the number of repetitions of the wave per unit of time. Its measurement units are hertz. One hertz equals one cycle per second. It is related to the wavelength and the propagation speed of the wave with the relation U equals lambda ni. The electromagnetic spectrum is a continuous spectrum. In figure below, all the electromagnetic radiation known to date is presented. This consists of gamma rays, which have the highest frequency energy, X-rays, ultraviolet, the human visible spectrum, infrared, microwaves and radio waves. Categories The electromagnetic spectrum can be divided into two large categories depending on the energy carried by each wave with its frequencies, ionizing and non-ionizing radiations. Non-ionizing radiations, radiations that do not have the energy to cause ionization. We meet this widely in our everyday life. Ionizing radiation, such as gamma rays and X-rays, are rays capable of causing ionization of matter. They have extensive use for medical purposes in X-rays and 3D imaging, airport screening and many other uses. As we will see, gamma and cosmic rays create the Sun, while X-rays create the Moon by ether ionization. The origin of electromagnetic radiation is divided into two categories, natural sources and artificial sources. In natural sources, we can classify cosmic radiation that comes from below, creating the electromagnetic field that we are inside. Various birds and fish, thanks to their internal organs, can perceive this cosmic electromagnetic field and act as small compasses so they know where to head during periods of migration to other continents. 
another natural source of electromagnetic waves is weather phenomena. Electrical discharges that occur in lightning storms create strong magnetic field in their vicinity. Our daily life is full of artificial sources of electromagnetic radiation. For example, all household electrical appliances, computer, mobile phone, TV, etc., which are included in the low ELF frequencies. Also, other artificial sources are various types of antennas for telecommunication purposes, radio television stations and radars on military bases. As you can see in the age we live in, electromagnetic radiation is constantly in front of us. With every step we take, our body is bombarded with different frequencies. We cannot see and hear all this radiation because our eyes can only detect a small spectrum while our ears another spectrum also small. Convert, transfer, save. The conversion of audio frequencies into radio waves through electromagnetism and a transmitter allows the receiver with the corresponding electromagnetic decoder receiver to receive the radio waves and convert them back into sound waves and through the speakers to listen. The mode of operation of the television, the telephone and the internet is similar. So we see that all of this is based on the fact that frequencies can be transformed, propagated or stored, decoded and transformed back into their original form. What is needed are the corresponding electromagnetic decoders and transformers. After all this study of the electromagnetic spectrum and all the individual smaller spectrums with similar properties, we have reached the point of seeing and understanding better what the ionizing frequencies cause. In cassette technology, sound frequencies are converted into a pulsating electrical current which is recorded through the cassette head onto the magnetic tape of the cassette. In this way, we have the storage of sound frequencies and with the analog decoder, where the cassette player itself is, we can listen to the recorded sounds from the magnetic tape. The fact of frequency storage finds application in internet technology as through high frequency waves and similar transmitters, receivers, decoders, there is access to a huge layer of the ionosphere where it is ionized, providing storage space and fast communication with short system feedback times to the decoders. Thus as there are solid and liquid diamagnetic materials, so there are corresponding gases that are susceptible to react to electromagnetism. As we have seen in previous issues, the ionosphere contains the noble gases monoatomic oxygen and hydrogen. These gases are all diamagnetic and so can store very high ionizing frequencies. The entire spectrum of cosmic electromagnetic frequencies coming from below to above. The total spectrum reaches the ceiling of the electromagnetic field and is reflected downwards having been refracted. The spectrum of X-rays from the total spectrum of cosmic frequencies as it has been separated from other spectra due to the cosmic prismatic refraction of radiation is now concentrated and is imprinted at the boundaries of the ionosphere with the etheric field imprinting the base of the Earth where it penetrated vertically. Cosmic energy emanates from below black sun, creating an electromagnetic field. The cosmic energy contains all frequencies from the entire electromagnetic spectrum. Let us recall here the refraction of white light in the spectrum of optical frequencies where it allows us to see colors with the analog decoder our eyes. It is a transformation of the cosmic radiation into a field, the field of vision. In the same way, we have the X-ray spectrum image of the total cosmic energy coming from below at the level of the ionosphere, a phenomenon that creates our familiar moon 
making it have the property of an X-ray of the base of the Earth. So the spectrum of very high ionizing frequencies, X, Gamma and Cosmic rays, as they bounce upwards, penetrate the surface of the Earth, are formed focused and in the same way that we have the prismatic refraction of white light in colors, we have the refraction of ionizing frequencies and cosmic radiation in gamma rays and X-rays, creating the Sun and the Moon respectively. It is again a conversion of frequencies, whereby converting them into visible spectrum of frequencies, we are given the possibility to see the highest frequencies of cosmic energy in the Sun and in the Moon, the X-ray of the Earth. The Moon is the concentrated focused imprint of the spectrum of X-rays of high frequencies from the total cosmic electromagnetic spectrum of frequencies. Ether and the gases of ionosphere accept and react to electricity by ionization. The entire spectrum of cosmic electromagnetic frequencies coming from below to above. The total spectrum reaches the ceiling of the electromagnetic field and is reflected downwards having been refracted. The refracted spectrum of gamma and cosmic rays from the total spectrum of cosmic frequencies concentrated is imprinted at the boundaries of the ionosphere with the etheric field imprinting the cosmic energy shaping the Sun. The Sun is the concentrated focused imprint of the spectrum of gamma and cosmic rays of high frequencies from the total cosmic electromagnetic spectrum of frequencies. Ether and the gases of ionosphere accept and react to electricity by ionization. All the stars that move in the electromagnetic field as well as the planetary stars are ionization phenomena of the corresponding etheric field and occur in the corresponding etheric layer. What causes all this? The source of excitation of all this cosmic electromagnetic field, the Black Sun, is a multi-layered and multi-form source creating all these layers of fields.